Dan gaklo gilawal, wulita hajir gilawal moestol diep, bonjour et bienvenu. Hello and welcome. I am Graydon Nicholas, New Brunswick's 30th Lieutenant Governor. I am truly sorry I cannot be with you in person today for this important session. I believe the reason for this gathering will have a profound impact on the future, not just for the First Nations in our province, but for the province itself and on all those who live here. At least that is my hope. I know we cannot look to the future without first reflecting on the past. New Brunswick would not be the place it is, rich in history, officially bilingual, proudly multicultural, an example to the rest of the country and to the world of tolerance, courage, teamwork, harmony and determination without the contributions and sacrifices of the First Nations. Les premières colonnes françaises arrivaient ici en 1604 et ont passé leur premier hiver sur l'île Sainte-Croix n'auraient pas servi sans aide des Premières Nations. The adventurers Champlain and Dumont are credited with discovering this new world, but the First Nations, my ancestors, made it happen. The subtitle of this series is called Creating an Inclusive Society, Becoming Our Best, a Celebration of Potential. There would be no potential without the struggles and challenges overcome by all of us who call this place home, those of us here today and those who went before. This is a time to treasure rich traditions and appreciate the contributions made by elders, leaders, artists, and all individuals who value their First Nations heritage. And it is a time to look forward to changes which will help our people not only to survive, but to thrive. The journey of the First Nations has often been one of difficult issues, tests, and disputes. Some would say we continue to face unfinished business. Our languages are dying, our traditions are being lost. Except for the efforts of a handful, our culture would likely be assimilated. We require the power of presence to move forward. Nous avons besoin de la puissance, de la présence à l'heure de la vente. To this end, Canada's Aboriginal population is growing almost three times as fast as the rest of the country. Unfortunately, the rates of poverty and suicide amongst my people are also higher than the rest of the population. The power of presence means Aboriginals need to be stronger, not just to survive, but to succeed, emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. First Nations schools are a start. An emphasis on traditional languages is another. A renewed interest in our traditions and customs is helping. A recent nationwide poll found that a majority of non-natives want to know more about Aboriginal peoples and their culture. But the First Nations must also be willing in order for that to happen. We have great potential to make contributions to New Brunswick and to society as a whole. But the First Nations need support from all New Brunswickers in order to guarantee that success. I regularly talk to groups such as Rotary Clubs, cadets, educators, scouts and guides, telling them how better they might connect with our First Nations communities. The answer is always the same. Let our First Nations have a hand in how programs are introduced, used and developed. The power of participation means taking some responsibility, a willingness to face the challenges of an uncertain future with courage, integrity, and action. We need to allow our gifts, our traditions, and ourselves to surface above the questions and doubts, struggles and fears, intolerance and insecurity. The importance of cultural identity is clear. Instead of being directed, we need to know where we want to go. I want to thank the University of New Brunswick for opening up this conversation and for allowing me to play a small part. I only wish I could be with you in person tonight 
to hear some of the answers. Good luck and thank you. Bon chance et merci beaucoup. Willie Ewan.